Hey everybody, Stu from Ukulele Zen wanted to make a quick follow-up video to answer an important question about a recent fingerstyle tutorial I just put up. It's the end of the day, you probably can hear the crickets behind me, so I'm just going to make a quick follow-up and answer an important question about is it better to use three or four fingers on the pattern I just showed. If you haven't seen that video, there's a card right here you can click on, and I'll put a link in the description below. In that video I show you one of my favorite fingerstyle patterns for folk and pop music. We're going to use this pattern in an upcoming tutorial for a Bob Dylan song. It's really a fantastic pattern and there's a lot of cool variations that I'll be sharing this month on Patreon. So a patron, Tom Barton, asked a really important question. He asked, why did I show this pattern that covers four strings? Why did I show it using three fingers and why not just use four fingers for this pattern. Why three fingers over four? The answer is, well first, before I get into the answer, let me say, use whatever pattern you like. You know, do what you like, do what's most comfortable for you and your technique. And whether you play a low G or a high G ukulele or a baritone or even just applying this to a guitar, just use whichever pattern is most comfortable for you. Now, here's why I showed the pattern with three fingers. If you play the pattern with three fingers, the string order will be the same as if you use four. The pattern goes like this. Four, two, three, one, four, two, three, two. Four, two, three, one, four, two, three, two. And when it bounces along at speed, it sounds a little something like this. Notice how my thumb keeps bouncing between those two strings. Now I like that drive. I like that um, gong, gong, gong underneath the pattern. Whether I'm using a low G or a high G ukulele, I just prefer that sound. It's something that I like uh, the sound of, you know, so that's why I showed it. Now if you used all four fingers, and I'm a huge fan of using four fingers. We would call these, in classical guitar, we'd call the thumb P, index I, middle M, ring A, so P-I-M-A, and I have a tutorial on that, a little warm-up exercises for P-I-M-A. I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. If you use this pattern, you can get a similar sound, but it just has a slightly different feel. It doesn't thump in the same driving way. And when I say thump, I mean the thumb thumping. I can tap my foot to it a little easier. So here's that same pattern, uh, four, two, three, one, four, two, three, two, using fingers P-I-M-A. Notice there's gonna be a finger on every string. I'm keeping the same hand position that I recommended in that video a few days ago, or the thumbs a little on this side. There's space between uh, my wrist and the strings, and I'm in a relaxed position. So check it out. Here we go. It goes P M I A P M I M. Let's try it again. P M I A P M I M. Now, it does have a similar sound. could be a situation where I might like just one thump in the space of the pattern. But me personally, I like to do this. And then I feel that I'm more positioned to use that middle finger right there. Now there's a bunch of variations I'm going to share this month on my Patreon page for uh, patrons at the upper tiers of membership. and. Um, I'll also share some stuff in the Bob Dylan video coming up as well. But just check out the difference between that and the four finger pattern. It's so subtle. I mean, maybe you're not even hearing it, honestly, but I feel it in my hand. So to sum up this quick tutorial or follow up, do whatever's most comfortable for you. I've floated the graphics for those two patterns here, so you know, hope you take a notepad and just jot those down. See what feels most comfortable for you. You know, I'll be going into a lot more detail in upcoming online courses where I'm going to show you all kinds of classical technique that will... Oh man, you're, 
you're gonna love the stuff that I'm gonna share with you. Tremolo, I'm gonna share all kinds of great three and four finger patterns. And not for nothing, some of the greatest finger picking I've ever heard is just two fingers. Uh, you know, Travis picking is also just used two fingers, as well as some amazing African, West African and East African guitar playing, just two fingers. So I hope this video clarifies the difference between three and four finger for this one particular pattern. Go ahead, explore, have fun. If you dig this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let me a comment below. Let me know which pattern's most comfortable for you. Thanks so much, and I will see you in an upcoming video very soon. Thanks.